Welcome back to Saluki News Network. We have a full house today, bringing you all the action as we round out the fall semester. Hi, everybody. This is Jordan Cruz. Let's get started on the hardwood. Both basketball teams have endured the definition of a roller coaster to start the season. On the women's side, the team is still feeling out the young season, dealing with many obstacles, injury being just one of them. Some hard-fought losses against high major teams were followed up by back-to-back 100-point -back games at home, including a record-breaking 115 points on December 1st versus Chicago State. Needless to say, Coach Kelly Von White's team is heading to the break with a multitude of momentum. They'll end the two-week hiatus when they travel to St. Louis on December 21st. The Saluki men have had their own set of heartbreaking losses and historic wins themselves the highlight of which came in a 61-60 win at Oklahoma State on November 10th. They'll head to SEMO on December 21st to take on the Red Hawks. And while Saluki News Network has focused heavily on sports this semester, we've also got the finger on the pulse of Illinois policy. The midterm elections were filled with high stakes and even higher outcomes, one of which was the fate of Amendment 1 in Illinois. While there will be those who will argue for and against the amendment, the unit from a local perspective gives more insight as to how this vote will affect the future of Illinois workers. For some stories still in the work and on the way, we have some exciting stuff. This is also the first year for Tim Leonard as athletic director, and it's already been filled with excitement. To dig a sense of how the year is going, we sat down with head of SIU Foundation Matt Kubik to get a sense of how the search for director went, what the man's like, and how the spring semester will go. Be sure to follow us on social media and check us out at Saluki News Network on YouTube. For Jared Harris, Jordan Cruz, I'm Ethan Neer. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the spring semester.